All right, everybody. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to start a small series of different videos on how to create different textures onto your landscape, how to create auto materials, how to create different interactions with your landscape. But first, today we're going to start with how to fix tiling onto your terrain. So, for example, I downloaded here this forest scene and this grass. So if I put this grass onto my terrain over here, I can see pretty much a lot of tiling over here. It is pretty visible. And this is something that a lot of people will ask how to fix. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this in under five minutes. So I've created this material tiling texture. So right click here, go to material, material and just create it. And here in the graph, we're going to start creating some logic in order to fix this tiling. So the first thing that I'm going to need is three different texture coordinate. Text coordinate. I'm going to have this first one. I'm going to duplicate two times over here. And the next step is we need three multiply nodes. One, two, three with M on my keyboard. And I'm going to connect each of my texture coordinates to my multiply node. I'm going to select those two, Q, in order to align them. Q, all right. Shift A, Shift A to align them. Perfect. And now to my multiply nodes, I'm going to give them different values for the constant B. So I'm going to choose 0.2. Here I'm going to choose 0 0.056. All right. And the next one I'm going to put, like, let's say, 0 0.003, something like this. Next is we need texture samples. And here is the magic where it comes. So in the texture sample, I'm going to click on the texture and search for macro macro and unreal engine has a default macro variation texture this is included with the engine i'm going to select it and i'm going to duplicate two times this macro texture all right i'm going to rearrange a little bit over here so it can be a little bit more clean let me just maximize everything all right and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my multiply to, to the UVs of the texture sample, of the macro textures. Uh, let me align this too, align this too, and align those three. All right. Pretty good. So far, so good. The next thing that we need to do is we need to add to each texture. So I'm holding A on my keyboard in order to add. And what you need to connect to your add panel is the R channel over here all right and i'm gonna duplicate this one more time our channel third time our channel all right align them so it can look pretty align those three and right now for my ad i'm gonna select for the b about 0.45 for each b 0 0.45 0 0.45 all right, the next step is we need to multiply those two and we need to multiply them with the original one, the first one. All right, so I'm going to need two multiplication and I'm going to add A and B over here. And right now this will go to B, this will go to A. It is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. That's why I'm rushing it. And after we do this, we need to lerp everything. So I'm going to select lerp. And I'm going to connect my textures here, the macro textures to alpha because they are grayscale. I'm going to select them over here. And then I'm going to create a vector tree in order to normalize the color. Holding three on my keyboard, clicking over here and putting 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 over here. And now I'm going to connect this to my A. Pretty cool. And the B will stay at 1. And the final step is I need one more multiplication and I'm going to need to multiply this with my base texture. I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to add a parameter over here to the specular, holding one on my keyboard, clicking, which will be zero in order just to kill the shininess. Let me just align this. And finally, what we need to do is I'm going to go and select my mega scans surface and this grass I'm going to drag the albedo and the normal map 
gonna connect my normal map here at the normals and I'm gonna connect my texture sample over here to the B. All right, I'm gonna click save. Okay, so let's go to materials and plug my tiling texture over here. And we see some differences, but it still look a lot of tiling inside it. All right, so if I play over here, at close, it's not tiling so much, but at far, it's tiling too much. And the reason for this is I intentionally do it. The reason that this is happening is because this texture has this specific element which pops out of the texture. And this is not a good practice to do. In, in order to have a homogenic and not tiling texture, you need something that is a little bit more similar. So right now, if I open my mega scan, and if I open this texture, so as you can see here at this texture, we have those specific green things over here and they just pop out of this texture. So this is not a good texture to use across your old terrain. This can be painted at some areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this forest floor, which has these elements over here, but they are more of homogenic. They're blend with the terrain. So let me just change a little bit the material. I'm going to double click over here and I'm going to drag and drop my forest material over here and the normal map. I'm going to delete this, connect the normal over here and connect it to the multiply node over there. And I'm going to save. Wait a little bit and see right now the tiling is gone. We see our textures not tiling so much if you can see all across our terrain. Let me just show you how it will look without this. Pretty tallable, pretty messy, pretty ugly. But with the material that we've created, pretty good looking, not so much of tiling. All right, let's play this. F11. If I start walking, see how the texture is looking pretty good and the floor is looking different in all the areas and keep in mind that we are using just one texture when we create different layers we can start blending it and everything will look even better but this is the first step how you can break down pretty simple and pretty easy in just under 10 minutes this tiling and how you can break it down thank you guys for watching this one and before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created few Unreal Engine 5 courses. And if you find any of the topic interesting to you, you can go into the description below and check them out. And finally, if you want one month of Skillshare premium subscription, you can find the link in the description. Thank you guys for watching and happy game development. I'm out.